Hello everyone, welcome to the next series of LearnDataSizeSkill.com and this series I'm going to show you how you can uh, predict the stock price of any stock that you want with using machine learning techniques such as linear equation or support vectors machines and I'm going to do, show you how to do it step by step from fetching the data to uh, process the data and train your model and also do the prediction or even put in your own data uh, yeah so um, what you're looking right now is the the full feature chart in trading view and here we are looking at the candlestick chart and uh, so um, we are going to use uh, Facebook as an example and uh, yeah if you uh, want to learn about how to draw a candlestick chart for any stock that you want you can look at my previous video in which I teach you how to uh, plot a candlestick chart with using MPO finance package but then if you are looking at a more complete full feature chart you can come to trading view and from here you can look at all the financial data you can compare it with any tickers that you want to compare you can even change it to different time frame or uh, make any plot that you want so if you're interested I put the uh, affiliate link in the description of this video uh, so without further ado let's look at uh, what we need in order to uh, predict the stock price of Facebook so uh, in order to do that you will first have to install scikit-learn package if you haven't done that make sure you do it I have already done that so I do have a scikit-learn uh, library in my computer and uh, yeah other than that you should have a basic uh, Python package like pandas or numpy in your computer uh, if you don't have that please make sure you do install them in your computer so um, yeah in order to, uh, to get started let's go to our uh, IDE supply text so from here uh, you will have to import the libraries that we need to use uh, first we have to make sure that we import pandas as pd then from pandas um, data reader import data we're going to use this to import the data of Facebook from Yahoo Finance and then import numpy as mp I think this is sufficient for now so um, yeah let's define a function uh, let's say the stock that we want to check is uh, Facebook and then the function of get data um, so in this case we are going to um, define a data frame and then we're going to fetch the data from um, Yahoo Finance and um, okay um, we're going to fetch the stock and then from Yahoo um, yeah and then we're going to define um, how many data that we want to fetch from Yahoo so start date will be equal to um, let's let's define a variable start here which is equal to um, let's say uh, first of um, January uh, 2013 to um, the latest data start and then we can uh, print this data frame to look at what we have uh, received from Yahoo Finance and go ahead and run this function so yeah cool so these are the data that we managed to uh, retrieve from Yahoo Finance uh, starting from uh, 31st of December 2012 uh, we have a high, low, open, close, volume, adjusted, close. Uh, we can also look at the last few rows of data. Yep. So we have the data from 2013, 1st of January to uh, 24th of July 2020, which is the latest data. And uh, we probably um, want to save this data so that we don't have to fetch from Yahoo Finance every, every time. Uh, so in order to save that df.2 underscore csv uh, let's uh, give it the name 
uh, and let's say stock app string and then whatever uh, date of today say today is 26 of July okay dot CSV cool um, yeah let's run it and see whether we are managed to save the data or not finish and uh, you can uh, yeah check your folder to see whether this data is safe or not I will ch check it right now cool so you can see that in my folder I do have a CSV file that is uh, created you can double click to look at the data yeah we managed to save the date high low open close volume and the adjusted close uh, until uh, 24th of July 2020 which is uh, pretty cool and I'm going to close this and go back to my IDE so since we have already saved our data frame in a CSV file we don't have to run this uh, function anymore because we don't have to ask uh, data reader to read the data from Yahoo Finance so I'm going to comment this out and uh, moving next we are going to read uh, the data from the CSV file that we have saved so df equal to uh, pd dot read underscore csv copy this and then index underscore core equal to zero and uh, print df dot head to see whether it's reading correctly or not cool so it's reading the data correctly from a csv file and uh, so we're going to use uh, several variables in this tutorial to predict the stock price of Facebook. I'm going to use uh, percentage difference between the high and low. Uh, probably I will also use the volume and also the adjusted close. So these three variables are the variables that we're going to use to predict the stock price on the three days later. So let's comment it, this out at the moment. And we're going to first uh, create a new column which is called high low percent difference and then the, which is equal to df high minus df low divided by df low or divided by 100 and um, we probably want to um, only take out the three columns that we want because we don't want the open, high, low, those individual columns so we can say that df is equal to df then we can do a subset of the column that we want to use in this case just the close volume and also the high low percent and we can print df dot head cool we have what we want these three columns and uh, moving next we are going to uh, create one more column which is uh, the price it is uh, the price of uh, the Facebook at three days later so for each individual column we are going to pick the price at three days later uh, to create a new column so I can do it right now so that you know what I'm talking about um, predict uh, column is sorry column is equal to uh, just that close and then we can uh, because we have uh, calculated the percentage ch change here we probably have some NA column so we probably want to fill the NA column with uh, zero and then in place equal to true and uh, so the new column will be called future three days and is equal to df where um, the 
predict column uh, dot shift predict okay then we have to print ef dot head to see what we get now so you can see that we create a new column uh, which the the price at the future three days column is the price at three days later so for this column for this row uh, this particular days uh, we create a new column which take the price at the three days later so assuming that we know what is the price at the three days later then uh, we're going to use this data to train our model uh, so that you can identify the relationship and then the, from there you can uh, develop uh, its own calculation to predict the stock price at the three days later so if you look at the uh, last few rows of data uh, we have some NA here because uh, at these three days uh, we don't have the next three days data uh, in which we can get so we're going to drop these three rows we're not going to use them to train our model in this case and we have dot drop n a in place equal to true in print df dot head sorry dot tail cool so now we have uh, our data ready and I'm going to stop here in this video and so in the next video I'm going to show you how we can uh, train our model uh, and then uh, split our data into train data and test data so uh, if you like my video feel free to click the like button or subscribe to my channel uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave the, leave the comment below otherwise I will see you in the next video